Hello everyone, welcome to The Nugget Show, episode 59. And boy oh boy, <laughs> I got some more stuff to show you. And uh, you can see by the title of this episode, uh, we're going to be fighting the Wither Boss. So uh, that's what I have in store for you guys today. I'm really excited, I've been... Uh, <laughs> I just heard a cow. Uh, yeah, that... I'm playing on the new Snapshot, by the way, a really new, uh, awesome Snapshot. Added so many cool things, I'll go over that in a little bit. But, uh, we're going to be fighting him today. Uh, I did a lot of tests fighting against the Wither Boss, and holy crap, if you're not playing on easy, uh, like if you're playing on a difficulty higher than easy, you're pretty much screwed if you don't have the right equipment. And, um, from all those tests, I found the perfect amount of things you need, and uh, we're going to be doing that today, and we should be able to kill him fairly e easily. We're not doing him here in my base, we're going to do him, we're going to do him, we're going to fight him, not here in my base, but we're going to fight him like, uh, I think it's a couple hundred blocks in that direction, where we uh, have a little camp set up in a desert. So we're going to be fighting him in the desert, and I'll explain to you some of the uh, or I'm going to be explaining to you how I'm going to defeat him. So, I uh, again, I apologize for not posting any videos this week. I've been extremely busy once again. Uh, I've been trying to get a job, and I have succeeded at that. I'm going to be working as a host at a restaurant called Denny's. For all you Americans out there, you should probably know what that is. Uh, but, yeah, so... That's a little news update. Plus, I've been really sick this week, uh, so I do apologize if you hear any, like, sounds, you know, snorting or uh, boogers and, you know, all that gross stuff. And if I do cough, uh, I can't guarantee that I won't, but it may happen, so I'll try to cut that out. Um, so, yeah, first off, you can tell in the new snapshot, there's some new sounds. See, walk on grass. That's so cool. <laughs> I really like that. Um, but uh, we're going to head over there, collect some more iron, and I have something to show you over there in the distance. Now, I wanted to uh, completely tear down the entire village, which I did succeed at. Thank you to Mr. Miola, who helped me tear that down. Uh, went fairly fast, so thanks again, man. Helped helped me out for that. Um, and I completely redid everything over there, so we'll take a look at that after we harvest these. Okay. Lava has new sound. Boy. Alright. Place that iron away. Place these flowers away. Also, water has a constant flowing sound. Um, they added new uh, mobs. They added the witch and the bat. And I'm hoping a witch does not spawn up there in the containment cell for the villagers. <laughs> that would be bad. I don't, I don't think they attack other villagers, but if they do... I'm pretty much screwed. Um, yeah, I just hope that doesn't happen. So, what I did, I terraformed the crap out of this place. Uh, I made a huge chunk of land up here, up there. There's some blocks missing. And I completely flattened out this entire area. <sighs> Whew, I was about to cough there. Oh, man. Yeah, but you can see all the villager buildings are gone. I did build a a village uh, apartment complex here uh, off camera, and I actually live streamed me building it. And I know I didn't let you guys know about the live stream, but it, it, it didn't really matter. It was kind of boring anyway, just me building stuff. Uh... So, what was I talking about? Yeah, so I completely terraformed completely changed this entire place up 
and we will go up there right now, but the, honestly, the only way to get up there is by crossing that bridge. Uh, but yeah, we tore down the walls, or I tore down the walls, and redone them. We have replaced them all. And I keep saying we like I did it with someone. The only thing Miola did was tear down the buildings with me. Uh, so let's see, yeah. Goes all the way around here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll go up there and explain what I want to put up there. But uh, thank you, Maru Frost. He's a YouTuber that does some Minecraft Let's Plays. He did a video response to my last episode where I was asking for some designs that anyone would like me to implement in, into my world. He had a really cool concept where he had like um, lower class style buildings and modern class. This, in my mind, would be considered a modern class. Or not a modern class. Why did I say modern? Like middle class or higher, but you know, lower class, higher, uh, middle class, stuff like that. This would be considered like a middle class building. Um, and what I thought from his idea, I'm going to have a sec, the section all that's the section that's all on this level of ground is all going to be middle class or higher. It's where the wealthier people live, and the lower class citizens are going to be living up on that. Uh, dirt on this huge dirt platform and I have some pretty cool ideas I actually want to put a windmill right in that corner and I, I think it will look awesome just a really nice windmill I've always wanted to create a windmill but I kind of suck at doing that so I'm excited to see what ends up happening but the apartment complex took me a while to build now you can see why I really like the block uh, combination here. It just looks really nice, um, warm, and calming. Um, let's see. So, I'm trying to think of how I should describe this. I went through each, there's, okay, there's three buildings in here, three uh, apartments, I should say. Uh, one on the right, one in the middle, and one on the left. Let's go through the right one. Oh, new sounds. It's so weird. So we have here a very nice looking kitchen. You got your sink, you got your stove, you got a nice refrigerator, and uh, a nice sitting area. Then when we go up the stairs, you got your master bedroom, a little seating in the corner here, and some nice uh, floral decorations. And head back down here. So that's the first that's the first apartment. The second one is fairly smaller, but uh definitely worth it. You got your same kitchen utensils, you got a nice little working table and the master bedroom. And it looks really nice and cozy in here. And then the one on the very left is basically the same one on the very right just you get a bigger dining area and you get a laptop if you rent out this room and a very nice sleeping area <laughs> it's like I'm trying to sell you guys an apartment complex no I'm just trying to show you what I did and got nice flowers out outside I just tried making this place look as realistic as possible as modern as possible this is the stuff I want to go for um, I tried putting as many, as much detail into everything as possible, and I think it turned out great. Um, yeah, just kind of, every block I placed down, I had a new idea coming. Like those arches that are kind of shooting out. That came from the sheep farm, uh, design, and it turned out really nice here. So let's go on up there. I can't eat this. So for those who are actually curious, my bridge is actually still working. Hold on. Gotta fix this. This is not turned on. There we go. The elevator that I built is still working. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh. That's a close one. Oh, I don't want that. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, it's still working. Well, let's just see. Oops. Okay, press to send. Yeah, but it still hurts you. <laughs> All right. You know, I always forgot about that. We have a little lighthouse up there that I built, like, way back in episode 12. It's still up there. And I don't think I'm ever going to bring it down, because it's kind of like a symbol of my world that will never be taken down. Um, so yeah, up here, it's just a huge platform. We got our villagers all trapped in there. Um, along with some iron golems. A lot of iron golems, actually. Nope. What the heck was that? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh well, maybe it's a new sound. Um, but yeah, we're going to be building the sort of lower class buildings down here. That doesn't mean I want to make them look ugly, it's just they're going to be a bit smaller than the uh, upper class ones. That's what they're called, upper class. Well, what the heck is that sound? They make a weird sound now. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> all right. So that's enough showing off all the things we have going on here. Um, I really want to get started on that. Um, the boss fight. So I think I'm going to walk, or I'll show you distance there like I'm gonna I'm not gonna cut anything out but you know, let's just walk on over there uh, and I'll explain to you how I'm gonna fight this guy okay so what I did was I set up a little camp out there with a bunch of chests well chest and uh, a large chest in one area and I have a bunch of potions and milk. Now, what the milk does, if you guys did not know, if you have any sort of spell or potion effect that is currently on you, you can uh, deactivate that potion effect with uh, a quick drink of milk. So, if I do end up getting withered, which I most likely will be, I'll just you know take a slurp of milk and I should be A-OK. -okay. Because the wither effect actually is, acts like poison. And it's just hard to tell if you're going to die or not. And I, I do not want to die in this fight. I want to see if I can survive. Um, so it's going to be... It's going to be fun to see how it ends up. Um, next thing is, I got a really nice bow. I did a lot of enchanting. And like I said, I got a ton of potions... I, got an, I had this sword for a while, but it's it's a pretty nice sword. Um, let's see, what else do I have out there? Uh, I have a full set of new enchanted armor, diamond armor. And something that I noticed with um, diamond chest plates, you can no longer go above the enchantment of protection 3. So, you know, the highest enchantment you'll get on it is, an, is a protection 3 um, enchantment. So, no more protection 4, and I'm guessing they removed that to nerf the <laughs> power of the diamond armor, but honestly, you're still going to be fairly strong. So here's the village we have out here, and just beyond it is the desert where we're going to be fighting. And I'm actually going to use these buildings out here as my advantage to hide from the wither boss if I do end up getting low on health. Uh, I don't really care if it, this place gets destroyed since it's so far away from my base. Um, I also set my spawn out here so if I do die I'll you know, instantly spawn out here. But um, other than that we are basically ready to go. I just want to see if we can kill him in one run. So here's the desert. <clears throat> More new sounds. So, uh, 
Yeah, here's the chest. Oh my gosh, I just realized I didn't even explain to you the story in the nether. So, collecting the wither skeleton skulls was really a pain in my ass. <laughs> I mean, holy crap. It was just as bad as getting the milk, or the carrots and potatoes from the skeletons, zombies, or the zombies. I mean, honestly, that was a pain. I mean, the wither skeletons are fairly easy to find in the nether. All you gotta do is run around a nether castle, like, a bunch of times, and they'll keep spawning over and over again. And they just have a really low chance of dropping the wither skull. And I finally got three of them. I cheered for joy when I got them. And uh, now I want to fight them to get that nether star. Yeah, so I have a bunch of potions in here, and I have a bunch of milk in this one. So, yeah. And if you're wondering why I have the block of iron and pumpkins, I'm going to set up a bunch of iron golems to help me fight this guy. I saw this on a Reddit page, and holy crap, they do a lot of damage towards the towards the uh, wither boss. And I'm just going to do a certain amount for now. Like maybe this will be enough. I'll just put the rest away. I want to take the wither boss far out though. So how many do you need? Four. I'm going to put on my armor. Grab some more milk. Maybe two more. And... Another strength potion, one more, a couple more splash potions. Alright, so, let's see. Let's uh, start over here, shall we? This is going to be intense, my friends. Okay. Oh, I should probably get the pumpkins ready, too. <laughs> Derp. I want to turn them into iron golems as soon as I spawn the boss, because I don't want to... Um, I really don't want to spawn the iron golems now, and I don't want them to run away or anything. So let's spawn them over here in this open area. Get them ready. One, two, and get that ready. Okay, guys, here we go. Excitement. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, there he is. Okay, let's get these iron golems ready. Actually, let's shoot him once. I think he's going to explode. Oh, okay. Here he comes. Attack my minions. Alright, now we just gotta fight. Oh, shoot. Alright, see, now that I'm withered... Ah, crap. This is going bad. I think I have to retreat to the village. Oh, shoot. I'm dead. I can't sprint. Ah! Oh my goodness. Give me a second with her. Okay. I'm gonna chill in here for a second. I need to... Need to get ready. Alright. Speed potion. Activated. Strength potion. Activated. Okay. Health potion. Alright. Come on. I need to bring him back. Oh no, he broke the bed. Okay, that's not good.
Alright, come on. Dang, I kept missing. Oh, I don't want him to blow up that chest either. Ah, sugar. Ah, fiddle farts. Come back. Come back. Crap. Oh my goodness. He's just wrecking these guys. Don't get in the hole. Oh. Oh. Crap. Dang it. Enough. <laughs> oh my good god. Attack! Fiddle fart. Dang, dude. This is crazy. How the heck are you supposed to defeat this guy? <laughs> oh my gosh, I need way more strength potions. And more milk. Oh, whoops. I just realized it removes the, that thing as well. Well, there go all the iron golems. I pretty much killed them all. I give two craps about that. Dude, fight me. Fight me like a man. Stop ranged attacking me. I can't even fight him. They really need to nerf this guy, this is impossible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm trying it on easy. Come on! Attack! No! Ah! Oh my gosh! Why do I keep missing? What the heck? Do you see him bounce off? Crap! Attack, attack, attack. Ah, crap. Whoa. This is retarded. Come on. Oh my good god. Even on easy is frickin' difficult to beat. The arrows keep bouncing off of him. Yeah! Come fight me now! Come on, bro! Yeah! <gasps> oh! My good god. Dun 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 dun. 
Hold. Oh. Ha. Ha. Dang it. I'm so sorry that I didn't kill him in freaking normal mode. I couldn't do it. I swear to God. Holy crap, Zax. Oh my goodness. Like, what the heck? They need to nerf that guy. Just for this. Wow. Wow. That was kind of dumb. That was honestly really dumb. Let's break that. That was really dumb. I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, fiddle fart. Whoops, wrong thing. Well, you saw it, guys. Um, let's go make a beacon block. And we'll end the episode off there. Okay, guys, so... <laughs> oh, man. I was thinking I could beat him so easily. That was the, hard <laughs> that was the hardest thing I've ever done in this game. Oh, um, so, yeah, we're going to make the beacon block. This is the first time I've ever done this in survival, legitly. I don't want to say I cheated on that, it's just I changed the difficulty mid-fight. <laughs> oh, they made a new texture for it, too. That's so cool. But I should be able to... I want to go put this in the village. Um, oh, crap. I should be able to put this... Down somewhere and it should work. I did a lot of research into these and they're pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I think the best block to use as the base block is the iron blocks. Oh man, they changed the stream of light too. It's so cool. Is it breakable? I don't want to try it. Well, it glows. So cool. Yeah, guys, so uh, we got it. We got the beacon block. That's amazing. I did it in, I did it legitimately. I'm uh, proud to say I'm a pretty awesome Minecrafter. <laughs> but I seriously don't think you can do it. Beat that freaking thing above easy. That was... I mean, all the th items that I had... My game's like, no. All the items that I had... It still was really bad. But yeah, other than that, guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. Thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. And remember, please show some love and support.